long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened there. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some sand casting. I'll show you how I turn a 3D print into solid silver. So let's get straight into it and look at what we're going to do today. This is a great one. I've been contacted by a friend of the channel, Darth Precious Metals. He's got his own YouTube channel and it's fantastic. He reviews some of his pickups and goes through silver, gold, bullion. He's, he, he, he has such a cool take on things. It's nice and calm. There's comedy in there. It's brilliant. Really, just really brilliant channel. So I suggest you do go and check him out. But he's actually asked me whether I could make him a channel round um, in, in silver. And I thought, oh, this is so cool. This is the first one I'm ever attempting. So this is going to be an actual channel round based on his channel logo. He actually sent me, a, a bit, as you can see, a picture from his phone. So this is what I've got to work with. So not the best best of images to start with, but we're going to give it a go and we're going to see what we we, we can get out of it. I've, I've got the honour of making Darth Precious Metals a silver logo round. So let's get stuck in and have a look what we're going to do. So I thought as, as he's channel's called Darth Precious Metals. I was thinking, what do, what do I think when I think that? I think, like, Darth, it, it makes me think dark and mysterious. Leave them to me. And as you can see from the phone shot he sent me, his logo, it would have been in the round. And you can see the mask in the middle, and that looks quite, quite. I want to say scary. You know, like that, it's, it's got something about the dark side about it. I have been expecting you. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for that, and I'm just going to actually just hone in on that mask because I've, we haven't got a lot to work on here. So I'm just going to go for that. So the first job was try try to tidy the image up a bit and and get that. So this is what I come up with. So as you can see, I've just basically cut it out and just put it on kind of on like a steel, well, more of a silver background. Now hopefully now that that should that's cleaned it up so we've got some nice edges and we can get some definition in the mask but obviously we want it in a round because we want to channel round so this was the next process so I cut it into a channel round and I was really pleased with it as you can see it's come out really cool I'm really liking this so what I've got to do now obviously we've got to make this into a 3D print somehow so we've got to do a couple of processes We've got to actually get a depth map and we've also then got to turn it into an STL file so we can get it shot across to the 3D printer and get it out and then we can make the sand impression. So that's the next job now, turning this into a depth map. That's what I did next. And here it is, come out pretty cool as you can see, the white highlights, if you compare images you can see the, the lighter bits are the higher up of the image so when that translates over to the 3d print that'll be more a higher relief as it were in coin terms so i think best thing to do now is actually show you the stl file what i created from that bit of a depth map here's the 3d generated stl file uh, look at this bad boy oh yeah you getting that look at that it's nice and rug rugged now i left it like that on purpose because i wanted some some I, 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 ooh, I don't know what the word i'm looking for almost like a landscape up and down i wanted some texture to the to the round also with the mask so it looks like the mask's coming out of the darkness because i'm going to tone it dark in the background and really shine the mask up so i wanted th those textures so what i'll do now i'll get it across to cura to get it printed out we're crossing ultimator cura now as you can see, there's the, um, look at that bad boy. There's Darth's round, and it's looking pretty menacing. I'm so happy. So first job is to flip it up on its edge, because I do like to print these on the edge, so it's printing downwards. It just comes out a bit finer for me. So there we go. Let's just flip him round. And, uh, yeah, looking cool. I'm just so pleased with this. We're, um, we're boldly going where no man's been. No, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Sorry. Uh. But anyway, now we need to resize this to get it the right size because Darth wanted a 40 mil round, a nice chunky 40 mil, which is four centimeters wide. So it's already there. Look, I got it sorted over in Blender when I was doing the design. So now it's time to slice it up. And this slicing up just, just determines the layers the printer's gonna do. It just goes across the printer nozzle, doing a layer at a time. So we just gotta wait for that to compute. Come on. Come on. There you go. One hour, 59 minutes. So almost two hours, you can say. But as again, it's a big chunky round. Now, here it is in the preview. The blue bits, that's why it's taking a, a lot of time. They're the supports that holds the actual mask up when it's printing. So that's why it's taking a bit longer. It's got a lot of supports to print. As you can see it going up, it's just supporting under the eyes and then there's like the spiky bits at the side. So let's just have a look at the nozzle printing 
and there you go there's the printout of the nozzle looking cool and that's what the printer will do and look at look at that infill pattern look at the pattern inside that's so cool but as you can see it's a nice relief nice landscape to it so i think the best thing to do now is get it chucked across to the printer and crack on with the with the sand cast Here we are, here's a 3D print. Look at that, if I can pick it up. Look at that, so happy with how this looks. I just, fingers crossed, this is, should come out pretty cool. Now the first job, as usual, we've got to get some powder on it. No, not actual powder, I'm using corn flour again. So we've got to get the corn flour on it. Now this just stops the casting sand from sticking to the actual 3D print. So we just give it a good coating and we wipe a bit off. There you go, as you see. Just get it on. You say just so you still want some on there, but you don't want masses of it. You don't want it completely in white. And now what we'll do, we'll get the flask around it. Now this is a bit of a tight fit. I am pushing the boundary a little bit, but it will go in. So let's just sieve some of the casting sand on first, just to get a nice fine grain of sand, so we can get a nice crisp impression. And then we'll start lamping it on. So let's get this. Let's get this grated on. And I'm just. I'm just, I'm just wondering what are the odds of us getting this to come out right first time. There's approximately 3,720 to one. Never tell me the odds. As you can see here, I'm giving it a really good push down. That first lot of fine sand we grated in. I'm getting my thumb and I'm really pushing. I don't know if you might be able to pick it up on camera. You might just be able to see the indentation of the round. See how it's raised up in the middle. And I'm just pushing it on really, really, really as hard as I can really. Without actually breaking the sand. You don't want the print to come through. But that first layer, I want it pushed in really good. So we get a nice crisp impression. So here we are then, nearly at the time to um, see if it's worked. So we're just giving it a little bit of a pressure in and a tap. Now the reason I'm giving it a tap is just to try and loosen it up to try and get a bit of air underneath it so it comes out a bit easier. But as you can see, I haven't done the punk screw in this one. I'm using the old uh, masking tape again. So I'm just grabbing a bit of tape. There we go, we're just back of my nail, I'll push it on. And then we'll try and lift it out in one go, in one nice movement to see what, what the impression's like. So. Here we go, let's see how this one comes out. Oh, wow, look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. So there you go, there's the uh, mask. And I think now we better get the furnace on and get ready for the pour.
yeah. Look at that bad boy. Just for you, Darth. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. This is Darth Precious Metals. So guys, I have I hope I really hope you had a, a few good days. Uh, I hope everybody's feeling okay. We starting having a little bit of a better weather nowadays here in the UK, so yeah, I have that feeling that, you know, things might turn all right. Just might. But the reason we are here today is for a little bit of unboxing. So, without any further ado, let's start doing this. go here we go I think we should concentrate a bit more just on the packaging let's see yeah there we go right <sighs> how I love those things love Just yeah, I have some paperwork in there, but I don't think I need it. Pretty much, that's it. So, what we've got is a Libertad. My followers member channels uh, I said this more than once I love my libertads tell you what black platinum and 24 carats gold one ounce 2023 it should come with a certificate as well 
Oh, look at that. Let's see. What is this all about? So, like I said, Libertad Black Platinum and 24 carats gold. Now, just before we crack on with the reveal, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Darth Precious Metals for asking me to do this for him. It was such a lovely job to do a fellow YouTuber's custom channel round. I had so much fun and I just hope you like it. So I just want to say thank you and just leave you with a little message that I hope you'll enjoy. Live long and prosper. Sorry, Darth, I've done it again. There's no mystical energy field controls my destiny. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense.